Hi everyone, I'm Vlad, and some of you know me as Claire. So this is my first video for The Beauty Within, and um, so uh, I was asked to do an introduction rather than talk about this week's topic, which is college, and uh, that's fine because my college career was um, uh, long and drawn out in the sense that it lasted four years, during which I only got three years worth of credits, and I burned out due to chronic illness that didn't entirely, well, my burnout didn't entirely have to do with my eyes or the fact that there wasn't a huge amount of support for disabled students, although I think they did a pretty good job in my case, so I think it was mostly I was just too sick. Okay, so I've got that topic out of the way. I, I would talk more on the subject, but um, you want to know more about me. So um, I am 43, I live in Seattle, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm <laughs> I'm doing this video on an iPad, which is just shaking around a lot because um, the camera is a ton better than my computer's uh, webcam, which totally, totally sucks. Plus, this has the advantage of allowing me to show off the messy existence of my apartment, but more importantly, stuff like my my stuffies and, um, oh, my Angry Birds one. That's That one I love because my sister gave it to me for Christmas, and it's awesome because you press it. Oh, and she gave me an even better one. Um, <laughs> okay, I guess you guys can probably tell I'm a bit of a dork. Um, she gave me this really awesome Dalek for, oh, you, you can see even more of the mess in my room. Um, okay, so here's this Dalek. I'm not sure if it'll talk because the button kind of wore out really fast, but it's in its, it's in its, you know, keep its, what do you call it, collectibles case? Anyway, if you press this button, I think it'll, oops, maybe it's down here. Okay, here we go. Nope, it doesn't. It's supposed to say... Oh, it totally won't do it. I'd have to get a fan out to him to, to demonstrate it, but it's supposed to say, You would make a good Dalek! Or, Exterminate! And, um, <laughs> I've been into Doctor Who since I was a kid. Um, like, okay, uh, this is my... Let's see if you can see it out here. My backyard. I live in a condo. Um, and, uh, I am not able to work due to a chronic illness, um, I yeah I do have HPS or Hermansky Pudlock syndrome which is the type of albinism I have but that's not actually my main health issue right now because I don't have PF yet um, although theoretically I will because I have HPS one um, I have um, I have something called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome which is uh, a pretty difficult thing to live with I probably shouldn't be walking around or standing while doing this video because I'm just going to space out more um, and. Uh, Let's see, what else is there about me to tell you? Oh, really good stuff. Um, I mean, because I think it's fun. Um, I discovered a few years ago that I was not the only asexual in the world. It took until I was 39 to meet another person who wasn't interested in sex, and then she and I had this... Uh, well, it was a beautiful relationship initially until her mother, who was homophobic, found out about it, and then um, that came to an end within about six months. And uh, that was very sad for me, but it also meant that I went and searched around on the internet and found out about AVEN, the Asexual Visibility and, and Education Network. And then later I got involved in things like Asexual Awareness Week, and uh, I, I, I marched with PFLAG in the um, 2000, what is it, 2010 Pride, no, it was 2011, Seattle Pride March. Uh, and I, I held a, an asexual flag. Oh yeah, I should show you. I have, I have like all this asexual pride stuff because I was supposed to organize one for this year. Oh, you can't see anything in the dark here, but uh, so I'll show you in the light. So I have all these <clears throat> in the process of picking up this bag with my buttons. I ended up turning off the iPad because I got my thumb down here holding it. Anyway, it says asexual. This is the asexual flag of black, gray, white, and purple. I don't know if it renders purple well on the screen, but anyway, that's our, our pride colors. Um, which is why, although I'm wearing my Dare to be Rare t-shirt, which has black and white, I am also wearing a purple, well, it's kind of pale purple. Um, it's a <laughs> it's a silk turtleneck shirt that I've repurposed as a scarf. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm like really into the asexual movement, um, and that's uh, really important to me because I went through so many years thinking that I could never have romance in my life. And I have, after... Two and a half years of hanging out in the asexual community, I finally actually 
found somebody who found me uh, or we found each other. It was not by me trying to, you know, go out of my way to date anybody, uh, although I had been dating, but um, it was somebody that I had as a house guest for a little while before she settled into an apartment here in Seattle and uh, we fell in love. So um, it was just, it was like we fell in love with each other months before, but we hadn't really figured it out that the other one felt that way too. <laughs> so it was really cool. So anyway, um, yeah, so let's see, uh, you know that I have POTS, you know that I have HPS, um, you know I live in Seattle and that I'm not working, and uh, what else to know about me? Um, oh, uh, and that I'm LG LGBT friendly, um, and the Dare to be Rare t-shirts, um, I should probably put a link in my video so you guys can know where to buy them, because they're cool. Um, and I think they're like all 100% cotton, so they're really comfy. This one's a v-neck, um, and you can't tell because the scarf or this shirt I'm wearing underneath it, but uh, but yeah, it's a, it's like a v-neck, um, and it's a nice v-neck because it's not like a super deep cut one, so I, I like it very much. Um, uh, and um, okay, I guess that's about it because I know that I'm just going to start rambling, so um, I will. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next week with whatever topic we come up with next week. Whoa, I totally forgot. Um, <laughs> yeah, big thing about me, I'm autistic, so my social skills aren't that great. Um, so I've been like, and I can't like use my eyes to try to observe people and um, at least learn body language that way, which is what a lot of other autistics have done. They like watch social interactions and break them down into the components and stuff. So I had a really hard time um, learning social skills. Um, Anyway, the reason I tacked this on at the end to mention this is because I was like, oh, I've told you everything about me there is to know. It's like, this is the, one of the biggest things to know about me. So, um, yeah, I, I have to live with that, too. Uh, and it kind of sucks. But, oh, well, I mean, it's, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of philosophical about the whole thing. It's, um, it's not very convenient to not be able to read people very well. But on the other hand, um, I'm grateful that I've gotten to know a lot of really cool people who have, like, you know, or have different brain styles, I guess you could say, than, um, not brain styles, but brain, it's not, the structure of the brain's the same, it's like it functions different, um, but anyway, so, you know, it's, uh, we're all valid human beings, and, well, this channel is, you know, it's about the beauty within, and I guess the beauty within, you know, ought to be able to shine through anything, so autism, or, or, um, well, <laughs> the reason I forgot was because I'm, I have POTS, like I mentioned before, um, and it kind of makes me spacey, so I space stuff out. Um, yeah, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can uh, get this uh, uploaded today, and um, uh, thanks for welcoming me to the channel, everyone. <laughs>